everyone, I'm going to do a get ready with me. I haven't sat down and just like talked to you guys in a really long time and I love doing get ready with me's. I'm going to be using all drugstore products today. The first I'm going to start off with is the Flawless and Poreless Primer by Pixi. I used to love this primer. It really fills in my pores and just creates a flawless base for your foundation. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of that and massage that into my skin. By the way, thumbs up this video if you guys like my clips. Do you guys like my clips? I don't think I've used one of these since seriously 2001. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing two products. I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay, the normal to dry formulation. This is in the shade 110. And then I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of this Mix Illuminator. That's just going to give me like a very fresh and dewy glow. I have a little bit of each placed on here. And by the way, if you have extra Bath & Body Works candle lids, use them as palettes. Get you nice and close here. I'm just going to pop that on my skin. I'm using the Sigma F180, no, F80 to buff this into my skin. The little baby wants to say hello. Show him how cute you are. I don't bring her on camera enough, I don't think. For concealer, I mix a little bit of my heavy duty Glamouflage Concealer by Heart Candy with my NYX. HD, the purple one, that just kind of lightens it, just so I can have like a semi-highlight. I didn't do this in the contouring video just because I didn't really think it was necessary in there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, you guys have watched me do my under eyes like a thousand times. I wanted to, a lot of you guys have been asking if I moved home and all that, and I wanted to just like clear the air and like explain to you guys like what's going on with me and why I moved out of Vancouver. When I moved up to Vancouver, I thought the only place that I could be successful and actually have a job was in Vancouver. And I was very naive back in the day because I really didn't know anything about makeup or, you know, the industry or anything. Like, I really honestly didn't. And after being in school and, you know, realizing that, wow, I actually do have talent, I just realized I could be successful anywhere. And I was really far away from my family. Like, I left everything I knew and like it's sure I went to university and that was only 45 minutes away from my parents but I mean I just like picked up and left like I didn't really even say bye to anybody I didn't have a going away thing I, I just picked up and left and I was really unhappy in Vancouver I mean I had Alex out there but for the most part I I was just really almost to the point of being depressed and I was paying a thousand dollars per month for rent and it just really wasn't working out for me. And I know this might sound like, oh, first world problems, but I kind of just realized, wow, I, using my HD powder, um, I just realized, wow, I don't have a thousand dollars to be spending on rent a month. I don't have my car out there. And it's really hard to be a makeup artist when you don't have a vehicle out in Vancouver, because how are you supposed to get places at 5 a.m., you know? So I just moved back to Manitoba. I'm gonna gain a little bit of experience here, build my portfolio, and then hopefully one day move to a bigger city where I have a little bit more, you know, stability and support. And did I want to move back here? No, I'm sad that I left, but I had to do it for me. I wasn't happy. I hadn't seen my family in 15 months. I just, the whole time I was there, I didn't have time or money to come back here and visit. I mean, a plane ticket over here is like $400. So, I mean, I don't have money to come visit all the time. I think that also played a part in it, like not seeing my family for so long. Like 15 months is a long time. Uh, I did my brows. I will link my brow routine down below and I, then I use the Tweezer Man Brow Mousse on top. So yeah, that's enough about my depressing life and my depressing story. Everyone keeps asking me what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment, you know? I'm just kind of living my life. Oh, I don't know. Wait, anyway, enough with my story. I just want to be happy and I wasn't happy out there and I'm happy right now. I'm content right now. I was very homesick I think and now that I've seen all my friends and family and everyone that I grew up with I'm a lot better now. So just applied a little bit of NYX Proof It Wa I Water uh NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Face. Yeah. I'm gonna start with this shade by NYX and this is called Dance the Tides and I'm going to run that in my crease. Starting out here and kind of just buff again. Wow, I forgot how orange this is. I'm also gonna bring it all the way into the inner corner. I'm kind of going to do like a spotlight eye sort of effect. So all over your lid pretty much in the crease, but leave the center of your lid blank. It's a blank space, baby. Oh, and I wasn't really like announcing me moving back or anything. Like the only, I only told like 
two of my closest friends I was really moving back. I just didn't want anyone to associate me moving back with um, like not following my dreams or you know whatever like I don't give a shit about what anyone thinks of me and that's pretty apparent but I just didn't want people to assume that and to assume that I gave up on anything because I've come this far and I've fought this hard and I'm not going to give up. It's just my life circumstances um, just don't allow me to do what I want to do right now and that's really difficult and hard to go through when I want to be doing what I want to be doing on Vancouver but I can't right now. Pop a little bit of that down on my lower lash line as well. And what I'm doing is kind of just like connecting it all on the outer corner here. I'm only going to bring this about halfway. I never used this palette before but this is the NYX Suede palette. I got like six of these, I swear to god. I'm going to be using this dark burgundy shade which is number eight. I think that that's really pretty. I'm going to be using the same brush and I'm just going to rub that in my crease to deepen up this orange color. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to go in with a black actually to make this really dark. For black I'm going to be using the Love in Paris, this is the Be Our Guest Maurice and I'm going to just use black, it's a black, whatever. And on a more detailed brush, this is a tweezer matte brush, that brush before was a uh, crown brush. And I'm going to put this right close into the crease here and kind of on the inner bit here as well and then buff it all in. So there's kind of like mapped out and then I'm going to like pop it in with that fluffy brush. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend. I'm just layering the black on just because if you do it in layers it really looks like really deep and like in depth. That's the thing about makeup. Do it in layers and it'll just, just look phenomenal. I have an S Club 7 song stuck in my head which is so random. It's like the don't stop me with a I can't really sing so you guys got it right. Bring it all back to you. You know that one? I'm also going to bring some of that black and put it right into my lash line. This is going to help blend the eyeliner I'm going to put there later. Which I also might blend out. For in the center there I'm going to be using this Ultra Pro Mania by NYX and it is in the shade Nude. I'm just gonna pop that. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh yeah. Wow, I forgot how pigmented these are. Holy crap. Just making sure that the edges are kind of blended. That's starting to look like something. Lord, I hope so. Black eyeliner. This is a slide on, glide on, stay on. Definitely a turn on in jet black. In my waterline and my tight line. Oh lord. Now for the bottom, I'm only going to put it to about where that eyeshadow stops. Right there. Because I'm going to I'm gonna do something fancy in there. I'm using the liquid black eyeliner in the studio, or not, the collection noir by NYX. I'm just going to really closely line my eyes, like super, super close to the lash line. And I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to... I'm going to do a little Miss Fame trick just because I've been obsessed with Miss Fame lately. We're going to extend this and then bring it back over. And see how I'm like stopping once it like meets back into my lash line? I'm going to put a little, you know, that fun little gift I have for you guys, I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, this is my, oh shoot, Omar, I thought this was like NYX one. Whatever, it's like the exact same thing. NYX, more to love. This one's super black, I really like it actually. Only putting mascara up to where I put, um, like right here. Kind of like cutting off my eyeball there. These lashes are obviously mixed with the lashes, I believe. They're in the number 11. They're nothing too, oh, I put that on weird. They're nothing too crazy, but they're just a little bit of something. Something, something. Now this is the best part about me having all these two duo lash adhesive and me not using them. 
I'm going to be using a little bit of that as my adhesive and I'm going to be putting a little bit of the roll on shimmer underneath my eyes. So on a brush I'm just dipping it into that um, duo and I'm putting it right underneath here. Like just a little bit. Like that. Then I'm going to go into that roll on shimmer. I'm just kind of shooking some out. I'm going to put that right on top of that. Oh yes, maybe a little bit with my finger. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, yes. Oh gosh, I'm glueing for this right now. Oh, my eyes watering though. I do declare, I do, I do like this. Yes, I do. I'm gonna darken it up. I'm gonna darken the black up a bit. And the finishing touch on these eyeballs, I'm going to take the Jungle Pencil of Milk and see this little spot that's being naked. I'm naked! Not no more, you're closed now. And I'm going to highlight my brow with whipped cream. It's just a matte white shade by NYX. Can you guys just appreciate my hand right now? It's just like so dirty. Let's do a little bit of contouring, my tweezer man. Uh, this is the finishing contour and then my NYX blushing taupe. It doesn't even have a lid anymore, it's just just like this now. I need to figure out how to depot this and put it in a palette. Ooh, warm it up that face. Oh, I love that. I like almost don't even want to put blush on just because I love it's like a little patchy up here. I love this blush and taupe. Oh, it is a blush. But for blush, I'm going to use this. It's not from the drugstore. It's from Urban Outfitters, but it's a rose cushion blusher. Isn't this packaging adorable? Wait. Just wait for it. Oh, there's a little powder puff in it. Isn't that so cute? It's by the face shop, it says back here. I'm literally going to use the powder puff to apply it, too. It's so cute. Just put a little bit on. Before I highlight, I'm going to use this NYC Sun and Bronze, but I'm strictly just going to use this brick that's down the center. I'm going to try to only get that on my fan brush here. Please don't get any of that bronzer. Oh yeah, oh that's okay, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Now for the lips, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be taking the NYX Light On, Light On, Stay On, Definitely a Turn On. I said that wrong. <laughs> Ooh, uh, it is in the shade Gum Metal, and this is what I'm going to use on my lips, so let's give it a go. Holy crap, I really like that. All right, guys, this is the finished look. This is my grungy kind of look a lot of you guys requested it so here you are i hope you guys enjoyed i'm really liking this lip are you guys loving it give this video a thumbs up if you're loving it because i'm loving it i always put eyeliner on my lips i don't know why but this is beautiful i want to make a matte liquid lipstick in this color i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below telling me any video requests that you have i would love to hear your guys' requests so I can create some great content for you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.